In this episode, we're going to have a look at a water pooling issue on the Darchi 270 degree awning. And it only happens when you attach the Darchi Eclipse Retreat Annex to it. And it's all to do with one pole. Um, and it, it, it has affected us. It's affected other people on social media. I've come up with a hack. I think it's gonna be okay, but um, stay tuned and we'll have a look at it. Hey guys, I'm Daryl, welcome to the channel. In First off, in big news in my garage, I've got some racking on long one wall and it's meant that all the stuff on the floor is now up into that racking and I can actually spin the camper around in the garage, which is great because I can put it diagonally and I can work on the whole thing without having to um, be jammed into somewhere. And I haven't had this extravagance for um, quite a long time, so I'm very happy with it and it makes it so much easier to film. While we're talking about campers, I did have someone ask about these lights and whether the light inside the box on the other door provided much illumination. And it does. I don't see there's any need to have any further lights within that um, box. So, worked out well. And remember these things here can be orange or white. And they turn on and off with the red arc system and hold whatever light you have selected. The Darchi 270 degree awning, we're really happy with it. Um, it covers, you know, all, the, all of one side of the camper from the tip of the drawbar all the way back. It goes around the back of the camper where the galley is. It works superbly, very, very happy with it. There's an issue though with water pooling on the roof of these um, once you add the Darchi Eclipse Retreat Annex to it. Now this is basically a tent with multiple doors with fly screens in. It hangs off the, the arms of the actual awning um, and you do have to put in one offending pole across the opening where at the ends of the arms. And this causes issues, but we'll go into that in a moment. But this annex is absolutely awesome. It folds up into a really small bag. We find that because it's underneath the, the awning all the time, like packing up, you pack this thing up first and apart from if it gets wet on the the sides of it um it's always dry and it's an easy pack up so we're really happy with it and for us because it comes forward of this door and the back zips out it means that we can open this door hop out of the camper into a sewn in floor tent and, and we've got standing room to get dressed um, if it's inclement weather we can sit in there watch some tv it's 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 a really handy thing and it makes our small camper into a two-room camper which which is a game changer for us it when it came out it was like i have to have this thing and we've been really happy with it but i do need to go out and get some more footage of it in the wild but anyway um, today we're going to have a look at an issue that that causes when when it's added to the 270 degree awning now normally with these awnings uh, if if you get a lot of rain you can slacken them off a little bit and pull down uh, the tabs and guy rope them in the middle of between the posts and that causes a v and the water just runs straight off works really well and it works really well with this awning. The issue that you have once you add the Darchi uh, Eclipse Retreat Annex is that you have to add this pole. And this pole is a support for some of the top mounts for the annex and it goes between uh, the ends of the supports on the awning. And what it means is, is when you get rain, the water actually can't go over this. And it actually sits behind this and makes a big pool in the awning. I've walked out in the morning, there was a heap of water on it. I've just pushed it off, pushed up on the awning, the water all came off, job done, it was fine. But there are some people on social media that it's a real issue for them. And for me, it is an issue. However, I just think that we're getting a lot out of uh, both the 270 degree awning and this tent. And for us, it's been such a game changer that it isn't that much of an issue for us. Now, when this first happened to us, as I said, I got out of the camper in the morning. It had been pouring all night. I looked at the, the annex and thought, oh, 
there's a heap of water up there. I just pushed it up with my hand and all the water came off. But I thought to myself, is there something that we can do because Star Trade don't offer anything. So I started to look at options and I looked at tents and how they were constructed and I thought, oh, I could put a flexible um, tent pole up there or something like that. So after looking at some pickups and utilities with it had a vinyl tarpaulin on the back and looking at how they supported that tarpaulin so it would lift it up and the water would just come off and not pool, I went out and bought some of the supports that they use. Um, they use a plastic bracket at the side that attaches to the sides of the pickup bed. For us, we'll just attach those to the aluminium um, supports on the annex. And I've bought some adjustable support bars. These are a free piece affair where two of the pieces are the pieces that slide into these plastic supports and, and have a curve in them. This has a straight centre piece that um, you slide into both sides and it'll adjust to all different lengths. Um, this does have some locking nuts on it. However, I've just gone out and bought some 12 millimetre hollow aluminium bar and this just slides over these corner pieces so that we can get whatever width we want. And at this point, I've made it to the width that we need and these ends just slide into the, the end pieces. So you can see that once they're in, it will actually lift up the uh, annex bar. These only have to be put in when we use the Eclipse Retreat Annex. But you can see with this that the plastic piece has just been um, soft tapped into the arm and once the support rod is in, it actually lifts up the material. You can see with this section here, it's a bit floppy, and here it's a bit floppy. So I figure if I put three of those supports in, it should work. So let's put this offending pole in first. And you can see how this stops this section being, so the water can come off. So my idea is we'll put another one of these braces about here and that's about halfway. So I'm just going to affix this here and I'm just aligning the top of the bracket with the top of the support. and we can just put this next bar in. Now these bars, I've just got them so that they're easy to disassemble and they're easy to assemble. And I reckon that'll be pretty good. And I think that should be okay now. Um, you can see how the support pieces are attached to the awning arms and you can see how they actually push up the awning. So there's runoff. And at the front, we now have runoff down to that front bar that caused all the issues in the first instance. So I'm hoping this may sort all the problems out. And remember, this doesn't have to support anything. It doesn't support the, um, the tent that sits under here. All it supports is, is the nylon on the actual 270 degree awning and provide runoff for water so the water doesn't pool. And all of these, these supports split into three. They just slide into each other and they're all the same. So it should be a a minute job to slide them all in. Now the lengths that I go to to get you guys good info. 
I've brought the camper out. It's night, as you can see around me. I've, I'm guaranteed of rainstorms every half hour 45 today, because we're in the middle of a bad low pressure system with flooding everywhere. So she's a bad day. Um, now these cost pieces, they don't put much tension on the arms at all. Um, it's, you know, if they're hanging, tents off this thing, these things can support it no problems whatsoever. Um, they've also got some flex in them, so as the material flexes they'll ride up and down in the centre. Um, the only thing I can see that I could make a little bit better is that I could make the centre section, the aluminium section, that it's 12mm by 1mm section, uh, round hollow core. Um, I could actually make it slightly longer, so when I put the end pieces into it, they actually sit up higher. Uh, I think that could be a good, good thing to do. Um, so a bit of trial and error. I don't want to pin anything in or put a mechanical fix because I want this to be, I've got six, six end pieces, I've got three centre pieces, I can just grab any of them, push the two end pieces into the centre section and just click it into the plastic fitting. Um, and if I do put mechanical fixes in them, they become quite a long and ungainly item that I have to store and I don't want to do that. Um, so I'm just working with, with this idea at this point of time. I, I think it's a good one. Um, from what I can see here, very happy with, with what's happening. Uh, as I said, I've got a slight bit of pooling um, on one section, but it seems to be uh, holding the tension of the material, pooling up and then running off. So that's a good thing. The front um, section is, as I said, is just the front quarter is coming off the front of the uh, 270 degree awning. It wasn't doing that before. So I think we're onto a winner here. Um, it's a lightweight, easy to assemble. You know, it would take less than a minute to put all this stuff up. So really chuffed with um, the outcome. Because as I said, if you didn't have this um, tent section going up, which has this bar in it, you'd just pull down on the, um, the guy rope at the front, create a V and it would all just run off there. You wouldn't have any of these issues. This is only if you've got the Darche Eclipse Annex tent section that goes into your, your awning. So with that, I'm gonna put this awning down, back this thing back into the garage. It can dry out in there. And I'm gonna go inside and have some dinner and warm up because it is absolutely miserable out here. So hope you enjoyed that guys. We'll see you next time. Bye now.